Hi, I'm Christy Rush Levine, and I could not be more excited to help launch Choice Literacy's book clubs with this book, The Barren Grounds by David A. Robertson. I teach sixth grade language arts, and I selected this book because it fills a book gap in my classroom library. Not only is it an own voices title, but it tells a contemporary story of two indigenous children. Morgan and Eli have been forced into foster care. Morgan has lived in a series of homes with white families and feels very disconnected from her Cree culture. She carries a lot of anger with her. Eli, who is a year younger, is just arriving at the same foster home as Morgan. Eli copes by drawing and he actually connects with his Cree culture and holds on to stories through drawing images of the stories of his people. One day he's drawing one image and Morgan feels a cold breeze come off the page. Both of the kids deduce that the breeze is coming from the drawing itself. So they staple it up on the wall and realize they can see into the paper as if it has become a portal to another dimension. When Eli chooses to test that out and enters that portal, Morgan feels compelled to follow him. And at that point, we are launched into an entirely different world, one that has been cursed into a, an eternal winter. And Morgan and Eli, through this other world, reconnect with their Cree culture and the value of community by helping these creatures um, discover what they need in order to bring the change of seasons back. I would not call myself a fan of fantasy, but I do um, get drawn into worlds of magical realism. And if you as a child were fascinated by the Narnia Chronicles, um, or you loved stories like I did where dolls came to life and you were kind of drawn into a different world, I think that the Barren Grounds is going to appeal to that part of you as a reader. I look forward to reading along with you and hearing your thoughts.